head placement on this. Uh, it's just like when if Matt doesn't do the regular side control escape, traditional where he's Koopas, and he brings his leg in, right? If I block his hip, he can't do the move. He can't get out, okay? So the same is true for this choke. When you're doing this choke, you don't want to just kind of hang out up here and try to choke. The first thing you want to do is get your head to the mat, because if I don't get my head to the mat, I'm not blocking his hip, and he unwinds it, okay? So you want your hands closer together, but if they are farther apart, you'll still get the choke to work, okay? So that's step number one. Step number two is the grips. So if his gi is super tight, right? This second grip might be difficult to get. So if you're here, if I've got neon belly, and I'm just like this, Matt's gonna be fighting my hands. He's, he doesn't want me to get this grip, and this is tight, okay? So I need to make this neon belly suck. I, I don't want my knee on his chest, I don't want it down here. I want it right there in the solar plexus. This grip, that grip showed earlier, I'm gonna grab, and I'm gonna grab here, and I'm gonna pull up and drive my knee into him. Now his hands are coming down here because he doesn't like it, and it makes slack right here. As I pull up on his head, this slacks up. Now I'm here. Now he wants my knee off. He pushes the knee off. Okay. All right, so one more time. He's nice and tight. We're doing two things by doing it this way. We're taking his hands out of the defense, and we're opening up the deep uh, secondary grip. Here. I like to go straight to the belt right away. Do a push up, boom, I pull up, he doesn't like it. Okay. All right, let's give that a shot. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> 